Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. My name is Dougal from Dougalcraft, and you're watching Rehash. I've got a couple of newsy thing type whatevers, and you've got a couple of newsy thing type whatevers. Yeah, that's what we're going to start calling it, right? And yeah. Newsy thing type whatever. Yeah. yeah cool. um, today, I wanted to talk about The Witcher 3, uh, and you wanted to, t or, uh, and I also wanted to talk to the Freedom Family, and of course you, about Frankensteak. Maybe it's steak, maybe it's not so steak. Not so steak. I like that. Ooh, what are you bringing to the table? Alright, Freedom, so what I'm talking about in today's video is turning your phone 90 degrees. Let me get my phone, I'll show you guys. So, You're so unprepared. You didn't even do your homework on no, this? No, I'm not prepared. So normally when you guys record, like facing up like that, 90% of the time, or every percent of the time, I don't know why I said that, it's going to have black bars on the side. It's super annoying. I think you're just stuck on 90. 90, yeah. yeah. See, 90. That's then what I'm talking 90, about. Yeah. I can't go past it. There's an awesome music video that's been put together. It's been up for a while, but recently it started picking up some traction. That's what we'll be going over. And then last but not least is Shia LaBeouf being edited to make look like he's going Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Yeah. All right, so first, Witcher 3 sells 4 million copies in two weeks. The important part about this is the fact that The Witcher 3 was a complete game that people are loving. It's not something that was released 60 or 80% done and then just parted out for DLC. I think that this is a testament to how much people just really want finished yeah. Freaking games! See, I know that, and I'm not trying to, you know, hate on the, the Grand Theft Auto community, but I know that before it came, or after it came out, you know, for like a month, we didn't have online, you know, internet, and then when we finally got to play online, it was horrible. Like, you'd play for a week, you'd build your character stats up, and you'd get on the next day, and they were gone. Like, they, they just disappeared. It, even worse than that, there, uh, Sim City, uh, Sim City? Yeah. That, it was Sim City 4, I believe. Um, they, we were told, you can't play this offline. It was just not designed that way. Yeah, Until the, mod the modding community came in and said, it's been a week, we have offline play. So I, I think the gaming community is sick of being lied to, they're sick of being sold unfinished products, and yeah, anyway. So that's a short one. If you want to read more, check out the link in the description. I believe you have another newsy thing. Like, like I said earlier, turning your phone 90 degrees when you're recording or taking a picture or what have you, you want to do this to get more in the picture. Now, I understand it's more convenient just to go like, hey, selfie, but it's, it's a lot more nicer. You know, it's a, a lot more nicer. A lot more nicer. Lot, okay. It's way more nicer, right, to record like this. You get way more in the shot. There's no black bars. And there's a music video that I wanted to show you guys. It's it's absolutely amazing. Anyway, Jamie, go and roll the clip for the Freedom Family. I think that it's time to break it to you slowly. But there's something wrong with the way you're holding your phone. And I think you ought to know. I think you ought to know. Everything that's wrong with society The internet has spoken and we all agree Your habits are annoying and our eyes they bleed So turn your damn phone or I'll murder your family the, the guy that shows up first in in this, like, I'm thinking this guy is Tobuscus. Like, I'm just going off sideburns alone, right? Yeah. And I... I don't know, maybe I, I was wrong in that assumption. Of course, it wasn't Tabuscus. Um, if it would have been Tabuscus, that probably wouldn't have changed anything. But cool. like, I felt a little bit like hurt that it wasn't. Like yeah. I, was, I was led to believe something, and then we just get random yeah, news. The sideburns misled you. <laughs> yes, yes, I was misled by the sideburns. Um, and, but the message of the video, I loved it. Uh, if you want to check out the full length video, I'm sure it, you, you're going to put it down yeah, there. Of course, or, yeah. Okay. She just started out so nice. Yeah. And then basically she just, you know, at the end she was like beating the crap out of him with a baseball. <laughs> yeah, and then like shooting people in the decan. It was just completely crazy and random. And the next thing you want to talk about? Apparently there's something called meat glue that you can use to piece together bits of meat to look like the same cut of meat. Like, uh, normally this is used for like caseless sausages and things like that. 
Um, however, uh, there are some restaurants and some eating establishments that are using this to create fake steaks or Franken steaks. Franken steaks. Franken steaks. <laughs> um, so uh, I've got a short clip here, and I'm going to try to keep it short because I don't want to uh, bore anyone. But uh, yeah, hopefully now you can educate yourselves and you won't find yourself eating Franken steak. Uh, Jimmy, roll the clip. All right. Well, as you can see, we've got you know, kind of a bumpy texture here. We'll be trimming that off after we stake it. The thing that's kind of wild is there are some areas here that look totally fused, like the meat almost melted into each other, which is crazy. And there's some of those air bubbles that I've seen before and some of the sandwiches that are sold. So what I'm gonna do now is just stake this out and then again, we're gonna start doing some trimming and hopefully get these things to look like steaks. Now that looks like the cross section of a ribeye. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I didn't know any better, I'm thinking it's steak. It's really actually very good. Franken steak. Now, the name alone sounds absolutely horrendous, but when you guys watch the video, it actually didn't look too bad. Now, the thing about it is, if you guys are similar to me, I'm a gamer. I love playing video games. I eat lots of junk food. And no telling what is in the junk food. Oily foods, at the end of the day, it's just not healthy. So, the fact of the matter is, bits and pieces of meat glued together to make it look like another thing. I really don't mind that, but my biggest concern is, I would assume the reason restaurants are doing this is so the profit margin is going to be bigger. Now, I'm not going to get really technical, but really what they're doing is saying, hey, this is a steak, this is like $25, whereas really it's like a $5 piece of meat. It's just really cheap, and they, you know, piece it together and make it look like steak. I'm no, I'm no stranger to food that looks like other food. Anyone who's had like a uh, a veggie burger or really anything vegetarian. See, I've never eaten a veggie burger before. Like basically, w when you get to like vegan and vegetarian food, I mean that's cool. Hey, hey, if, you, if you like that, I, I'm just not into. There's an entire movement to make like their food, and I will say their food. I'm talking like. Vegetarians, vegans, and, yeah, and all that right. look like our food, like meat, and like it, it's like veggie hot dogs. Like, mm. I'm like, this is not a hot dog, but um, oh. and and of course, <laughs> I, I love my vegetarian and vegan friends. Of course. Speaking of beef cakes, you have a new story about Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. So, like I said earlier, guys, somebody made Shia LaBeouf look like he was going super sane. If it, if it hasn't gotten weird enough yet, he is back. And he looks like he's going super sane. And on top of that, he looks super homeless. So, so super homeless. Super, so wait, are you mixing super saiyan and homeless? No, he's Or are you saying saiyan. he looks extremely homeless? Both. He's super saiyan and he's super homeless. <laughs> okay. All right, so Jimmy, go ahead. And you drop the food. Stop eating. We're recording. Come on, Jimmy. Go ahead and roll the clip. Do it! Just do it! Just do it! Do it! So, do it! Right off the bat, I have to agree. Uh, Shia is looking um, a, a little bit rough. Now, <laughs> now, I know the history behind the original clip. Like, well, I, I kind of know. Um, apparently, Shia LaBeouf was recording something, and it was meant to be like a. Um, what you call it, uh, like a motivational speech, like, you know, don't just wait for success, just do it. And I don't know why Shia LaBeouf sounds like this, but apparently he does. Um, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jesus Christ. so that's my horrible Shia LaBeouf impression. Um, and it was supposed to be like this, this wonderful thing, but the internet has basically taken to it and they've keyed him out and they've just done all kinds of crazy things with him. Um, and, like, I, um, I kind of feel bad for him, but then again, I mean, he's relevant again after yeah. so much time of people not caring who the heck he is. I know, like, over the past few years, he's been working on some pretty weird projects. Have you seen, like, the previous music videos and stuff that he was in? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> okay, comments <laughs> of the day, people. We got some cool comments for you guys today. So. We do. <laughs> we do. All right. Okay. So, uh, of course, this is episode three of Rehash. So, um, we've got, um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. we've got two, and then I will try to include a couple from, uh, episode two, yesterday's episode, 
Um, some are from um, some are from rehash. Some are just from other things on the channel. Uh, the very first one is from Mizlvenbim. That's the craziest name I've ever heard. I figured that if I try to pronounce it the best way I can, you appreciate and then, that. And then I add like you know the the Borat accent to it. I can't go wrong. Right, and because he'll either it. either he'll appreciate the fact that I tried, or he'll be too busy laughing at the, my horrible Borat impression. Right, Nizzlevenbim. Nizzlevenbim. <laughs> okay, so uh, he says that he's only in freedom because he said, or uh, they said that Monster Cat was coming to freedom. It's taking so long. Can somebody tell him um, how close, if it's close, and how close? So Monster Cat is with freedom. They've partnered with us, and as far as the Freedom Family being able to use their music, that's still something that we're trying to nail down. It's gonna take time. It's legalish stuff. Uh, anytime you start talking about legalish stuff. Uh, it becomes hard to talk about because if you if you disclose certain things, uh, then it can affect other things, and you can lose negotiations based yeah, on what you said. Yeah. Um, I understand. And it's it kind of just becomes this giant dance of like the the dance of the lawyers. We should make that video the dance of the lawyers. As soon as we have an announcement, we will uh, send that out to you and everybody else. We'll just, you know, believe me, when something big like that happens, you will not miss it. Our next comment, something that harkens back to an old video that I made about trolling, um, where I basically tell you that uh, you don't just write everyone off as a troll. If you think they're trolling, you engage them, you ask them questions, and you know, you, you interact with people. Um, so this guy says, does Anthony touch children? My response was that I hold their hands when they cross the street. <laughs> I don't know. I might have just made a friend here. Maybe, maybe not. This awesome. is also not an impression. But well, that's really how I don't know what this is. So, so like every day, you're going to start sounding like that? Hey, I don't know. Um, Sorry, that's not fun with it. <laughs> uh, now, uh, let's go ahead and pop over to episode two of uh, Impulse. Not Impulse. Um, I mean, we could, all, we could do that too, but rehash and see what people are saying. What are you saying about our nice little show here? So, uh, the first comment that I wanted to pick out of uh, yesterday's episode is from Crispy, where he says, where do we send the intro to? That's a great question, because I'm out of ideas for the, or I'm out of like pre-roll stuff. Like I did reach out to some people in the community that I knew, yeah. and um, unless somebody surprises me, tomorrow we may not have a partner introduced us, which I don't want oh, to happen. It's bad. Um, it's so uh, I, I need to work out a form for that. Hopefully it'll be in the in the description down yeah, below. Guys. So open the description, and like we said in episode one, or like the pilot episode, if you guys open the description, make an introduction saying, hey, this is who I am, and welcome to Rehash. Mm -hmm. You guys get shouted out for it. Go do it, man. It's it's pretty easy. Um, and, and then we got there are out. also a bunch of people who are like, awesome, best show ever, but it's a little bit too long. And we agree. We're working on that part. So we're going to take some of your guys' comments to wrap up today's video. <coughs> so coming in at the first comment, his name is Kazier Hertzen. Did I say it right? Kazier Hertzen. Kazier. Kazier. I hate this because I always mispronunciate the names every time. So he says, Anthony and Sky. Who, who is Sky? Like the Sky? Like my name is Sykes. It's S Y K E S. Sykes. It's Sykes, man. Everybody gets it wrong, and even when they say Sykes, they call me Skies or Skittles. I get called Skittles. I've been called everything. Oh wow! Everything. And if you guys don't know, Sykes is my last name, so that's why Sykes is uh, the Sykes. So anyway, he says Anthony and Sky co-hosting a show. Whoa. That is awesome. I'm not going to say the next word. Can't wait till we can own some blasters from Star Wars. <laughs> I agree with you. I want to do that too. Um, and then, of course, we're here at the end, and we've been we've been on for some time. Um, we have to talk about our friend who introduced us today, yeah. um, Dougalcraft. Dougalcraft, yeah, he uploads all kinds of amazing Minecraft content every week. If Minecraft does release an update or a snapshot, you know, you guys can go check him out first. He, he's really relevant. He goes into, the, you know, very descriptive detail about the updates. He does, like, green screens and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's starting to do, like, more IRL, like, not, not vlogging IRL, but, yeah. you know, with cameras and stuff and not so much in-game. 
Yeah, so he's like a jack of all trades. I mean, it, it really wouldn't hurt to go give him a shout out or go look at him and, and just let him know and say, hey, Freedom Family supports you. And let him know that, you know, the shout outs really do mean something. So go give him a shot. Little known fact. Yeah. Uh, about a year and a half ago, um, Dougalcraft and I, when he was at, it wasn't a lot of subscribers, like 300 subscribers. And my channel was at 9,000 subscribers. Uh, we actually did a collaboration together. Well, Long so, before I worked for Freedom, yeah. um, he just sent me a, a message, very professional letter, saying, hey, look, here's who I am. Here's what I want to do. And, um, you know, I I did like uh, 10 episodes with him. Yeah, awesome so, so, guy. So you've known him almost longer than I've been on YouTube. So I, I, I kind of don't want to leave. I don't want to sign off. Neither do I, but I, I, we have to. We have to. We got stuff to do today. Yeah, this is true. So, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. And be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom. Peace.